Adonis Creed is uh, a boxer um, who had a kind of an unlikely uh, st story in terms of finding his way to the ring professionally. He's been wrestling with his own personal identity, and we've seen him wrestle with that, that identity and, and the legacy of his father um, and, and the fire that kind of burns within him uh, over the course of, of two, now three films. I think um, some of the themes that we explore through the character of Adonis are um, legacy, um, identity, the idea of self-determination. Um, I think uh, uh, class struggles, you know, um, are something that we explore through, through Adonis. He's an African-American character, a black character uh, in the world of boxing. And I think that that, um, it's, it's crazy enough, it's not often explored, you know, fictionally. Um, so that's another, another element of it. As well. The tone of this film has a very um there, there's a there's a there's a very exciting quality to it, um, but there's also uh a very reflective aspect to it, you know, um this idea of overcoming um your own uh traumas, you know, over overcoming your own past and learning how to forgive yourself. That's something that Michael was very interested in. I knew from the moment that I met Mike that it was a matter of time before he, before he would direct. Uh, he had a great understanding of story uh, and an ambition to him, you know, a, a point of view, um, you know, a belief, a, a belief that, that certain stories should be out there and it should exist. So I was, I was definitely encouraging him um, to, to go for it. And so Damian Anderson played brilliantly by Jonathan Majors. Um, is a is a, a friend of Adonis um, from, from from his life before he was adopted, and um, I think that that that's the best way to describe him. <laughs> you know, uh, he's a little older than Adonis. He was he was kind of his, his mentor, kind of a, kind of a big brother to him, um, and something happened. You know, um, and, and it caused him to go in different directions. Uh, so he's coming back, and he's very much. Um, He's very much a, a, a character who brings Adonis' past back with him um, and, and represents a type, of, a type of reckoning and reflection, you know, that Adonis is kind of forced to, to, to go through. It's actually interesting, like, um, because that, their fight styles actually have a lot of similarities, you know, um, and through the film you learn that um, Damien was in many ways Adonis' first teacher, you know, when it comes to, when it comes to fighting. I think it's a big surprise for the audience, um, and, and and so they, so they actually they actually fight like there's some similarities to how they to how they fight. Um, Damien does have some 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 tricks that Adonis hasn't seen before because they've been apart for a little while, um, and, and and more than the styles of, of of boxing in the ring, Damien is is, is um, a character who's very crafty, you know, who's who's constantly studying, who's constantly trying to suss out the other characters' weaknesses and, and is not afraid to exploit them. They know what gets to you. They know how to push your buttons. Um, and Damien represents all of that for Adonis. You know, um, he, he knows things about Adonis that, that, that other people don't, that Adonis you know, doesn't want people to know. He knows his secrets. Um, and, and, and he also, you know, because they're kind of like siblings, he knows how to, how to, uh, he knows how to rattle them, you know, um, through mentally. And I think that so much of boxing, so much of any like high level performance like this, high, high level, Sport is, is, you know, it's mostly mental. Um, so he knows how to play mind games with him. What Jonathan brings to the character is a, is a warmth, you know, um, and, and, and an emotion and an emotional connection, and, and really like a reality to him, you know. Um, you know, you know, th this film is also dealing with um, this film is also dealing with incarceration. You know, and, and what that and what that means. You know, what that does to relationships. That what that does to a person. What that does to a community. You know, um, and I think I think it's handled. I think it's handled quite well. And 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 Jonathan's performance is a big part of that. One of the most exciting things about Creed Three is the character of Mara. Um, she was introduced in Stephen Cable's Creed Two. Uh, you know, towards this in the second half of the film. Um, and, and audiences, I think, really connected with, with the, the journey that, that 
um, the characters of, of Adonis and Bianca went on and just the anticipation of becoming parents, you know, um, and it, it was very important to to me in the in the first creed to to have um, uh, certain elements of, of deaf culture, you know, in the film and bringing Amara to life in the film as the young deaf actress Mila Davis Kent, who does a beautiful job, um, you know, representing that character, and, and and I think audiences are really gonna fall in love with her. I think what we can look forward to from Mike in, in, in this film um, is, is a really soulful performance uh, as an actor, and I think a, a really unique vision as a director. You know, some of his choices, um, specifically through the performances of, the, of his co-stars and through the visuals, you know, I think are just really brilliant, and, and I can't wait for folks to see it, specifically like on that, on that big screen. So, you know, some of that IMAX, some of that IMAX photography is just, it's just gorgeous.